Uncapped Exhibition and Marketplace has returned. After two years, businesses can now showcase their unique and flavorful products. This is our first year here and I must say we are enjoying every moment of it. I do hope we have a few bottles remaining for tomorrow because the response has been truly amazing and overwhelming. They are loving the flavors, they are impressed with the amount of variety we have. And this here, Strokus, is our best seller. This is made with a whole lot of bark, so it's like barks in a wine. So this is very impressive, so I'm hoping that whoever comes down, they get to, to get at least a few bottles tomorrow. The initiative was, um, it's a brainchild of my uncle, Aubrey John. He's a retired um, pensioner and he had a whole lot of energy. And he saw, we, we plant pineapples, so the pineapples was basically wasting. And he's like, you know, we can turn this thing into wine. So our first production was um, pineapple and we used to give it out to friends and family. And the demand came overwhelming. So when I graduated from UG, I picked it up and we ran with it and now we have a whole a lot of um, flavors that we supply both local and overseas um, visitors. It's not our first time, we've been here for, all, for about seven years. All the Uncaps we have been a part of and it has grown, help our business to grow a lot. The more we take part of it, the more persons get to know about pleasurable flavors and about our product and knowing and they're amazed that it's actually local Guyanese product produced in Guyana, created by Guyanese. We are a healthy snack social impact company. We do healthy snacking, dry fruits. We have a, a variety of families. We have the chili pineapple, we have the original pineapple, we have banana, and we also have watermelon, which are sold out today. Um, we started in 2020, and we are now here at Uncap after a few years of the business due to the pandemic, etc. But Uncap has been a great help in us for having us customer exposure, market reach, and we're here to promote education in eating fruits, healthy fruits, and our mission, our ritual is that we want our consumers to have one of our five-day snacks every day. I started making candles as a gift for people, and then I was like, it's very therapeutic, the house always smells good, and it relieves my stress at the end of the day, so I started on my business, I think, February and I've been just working since. I've honestly met a lot of amazing people at ONCAP. Um, this is my first event, so I plan on doing future events, but it's really good right now. Well, we had a break and this is a welcome comeback, and I really think that uh, they are doing a fantastic job in getting not just the young agro processes, but also the creative people, right? I think it's quite a mixture and I love it because food and fashion always blends because you know you have food, fashion, furniture, as you know I just launched the I Am collection. So I think events like this is just so magnificent for us to be able to interact, not just with the public, but also with other exhibitors and especially with the break. I mean, it's a welcome. I, I, it's just I haven't seen people in so long. It's just seeing them. It's just such a great energy being here at Uncap. And I, I really think the GMSA is doing a fantastic job in, 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 in getting the small businesses, giving them this platform because most small businesses don't have money for advi advertising. So this is a way of gaining um, momentum gaining new clients, actually testing your products too. It's a great way to test a new product. I really think that where Guyana is going in terms of agro and agro processing and other areas, I think we are definitely going somewhere. And not just somewhere, we are going somewhere to set the, to, to carve that path for other Caribbean countries. And um, I'm very happy that we are able to be that model right to the others. So I am, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm celebrating 25 years in fashion. <laughs> And uh, there will be so much that you'll be hearing from me very soon.
This is my first um, outing here on UNCAP. It's a good opportunity for persons to see my work. My business, it's called Wooden Words. I, I started like about seven years ago. Um, actually, I did a, a piece of work for a guy in Trinidad and he told me that I'm on to something because it was well received and that is how I start working. Um, we make hair accessories and also we do custom hand embroidered pieces. Hair accessories include headbands, turbans, hair clips, hair pins, hair bows, the works. Um, we started about five years ago, so we've, we've been five years in business and um, it's been going great so far. So far it's um, given me the opportunity to like meet um, my potential customers, meet my existing customers because we've been home for so for like the past two years and so now you're out, you're getting a chance to uh, reconnect with people. Elegance is basically a jewelry business. I make semi-precious stone and beaded jewelry. Today on display we have our resin, semi-precious stone and resin collection. And I started this business back in 2016, but it took a lull. But due to the pandemic, I decided to, you know, start it, get it going. It's my first time at the Uncap exhibition and it has been good. It's getting my name out there. Persons may have seen my stuff on Facebook or Instagram, so they now have a chance to come and have a look at it in person because they're all handmade by me. So it is nice for them to have a look at it to see the quality of the items produced right here in Guyana. my creations out of um, some stones, some leather, some wood and, and um, coconut shells and shells, as you can notice. Actually, uh, the event, because it brings people together, you would find um, people would probably, I would like to say, support everybody as they move around. So it's a good event. My business is called Amazon Authentics, where I utilize Guyana's beautiful species to make products. How I started? It started as a hobby where I used to um, burn art on, on boxes to give us gifts. And then it became a business because people started ordering. Basically is um, showcasing show, uh, and networking. So we do, it's more or less promotional. People come and they look and later on, you know, they, they will contact me. It's kind of amazing so far because it's my first time experience here. So I get to actually see different things here. It's helped a lot because you could actually get to uh, promote your business in different ways. What we offer is quality products, spices, um, seasonal mixes, and other mixes like achar and so on. So our products, mainly our garam masala, the achar masala or halma masala and so on, they have been, the recipes have been passed down from um, the generations actually. So um, our garam masala mix um, it's actually my grandmother's recipe, which would have, she would have inherited from her, her mother. So Roy's has been so every Uncap event. Um, so Uncap has provided us with this platform to meet with our customers firsthand, so that we can um, 
you know, encourage them to support local. Our camp was started by the GMSA to support the small agroprocessors of Guyana. This idea was conceived about five years ago. We had our first event at the Safari Exhibition Center. And then we had a hiatus of two years because of COVID. And then we are back here today. We have about 107 small agroprocessors exhibiting their products today. And one can see over the last two years or so, they have not been idle. There have been improvements in their packaging, there have been new products added to their business. But COVID would have hurt their business a lot during the two years. So GMSA decided that they needed some help, and that's why we decided to host them a lot of cap. seasonings to self-care. Uncapped has it all. This is Shania Prasad.